Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure about this lighting, so bear with me. But today we're gonna talk about the Bob Jones dress code. So I'm gonna cover that today and just give you a heads up. And I'm reading straight from the handbook. I'm gonna lay out the specifics and then talk a little bit about why we have it here. This is all on the handbook as I just mentioned, but the handbook will be in the link in the description box for you guys so you can read it for yourself. The Bob Jones attire policy requires modesty. So Bob Jones refers to modesty as drawing attention to inward beauty rather than to outward appearance, characterized by adequate coverage and suitable fit. Appropriateness with the definition of understanding the setting and wearing clothing that is suitable for the context. And then thirdly, professionalism. This they explain as displaying measurable excellence with an established set of standards. This is all throughout how our conduct is, and especially with the class attire policy, that's really into that professionalism side. I'm gonna start off with the men's guidelines and women, you can jump to this timestamp right here for your guidelines. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with the men's. So hair should be neat and professional one natural color and masculine style um off the collar not on the ears or the eyebrows sideburns no lower than the bottom of your ear um man buns ponytails and mullets are not suitable but men should shave daily unless growing neatly trimmed half inch or less facial hair facial hair should be established while away from campus so over breaks that's your time or before college starts that's your time there are certain things you'll see and you'll be like, why are they allowed to have their hair that long? And that's usually because the theater people, if they are doing some kind of play and they're a character that needs long hair, then sometimes they will have that hair a little bit longer for guys, but very rarely. Clothing should not be ripped or have holes. No ripped jeans. Pants should be well-fitting, but not tight. Students are not to get a tattoo, permanent or temporary, or body brand while enrolled and may be asked to keep existing tattoo or brands covered. Finger rings, wrist brands, and a single necklace under a shirt are suitable for guys. They're not fine with you having more than one necklace on though. Earrings and other piercings are not suitable, so no piercings for guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into the women's guidelines now, which is probably going to be more of my viewers. Okay, hair should be neat and professional in presentation, a natural color, and a distinctly feminine style. Shaved styles are not suitable, so if it's like shaved here, if it's partially shaved, or full shaved, anything like that, not suitable. Currently enrolled students are not to have any henna, body art, or piercings other than in the ear. So you can do it in the ear. You cannot do bars in the ear though. No visible undergarments, no see-through stuff. Next, necklines should be high enough and tops long enough to be suitably modest. The handbook has a little bit more on that as well. Sleeveless tops must cover to the edge of the shoulder where a normal sleeve begins. That's where you want your sleeveless tops to be. And like the spaghetti strapped stuff does not work at all. Hemlines of skirts and dresses should touch the kneecap. Slits are to approach the knee. If you have a slit in your skirt, make sure it only comes max up to the knee, but never above the knee. It says to approach the knee. It doesn't want it showing your full knee either. Athletic shorts should approach the knee while being no shorter than two inches above it. Now, as taller girls, it's a little bit more difficult, but make sure you can do your best with getting long enough shorts. The Bruins athletic wear, you have your own shorts that you are given that you're allowed to wear, so that is separate. Crop tops are not suitable at any time, so no midriff. Class appropriate attire is listed for both women and men with their own different things, very detailed in the handbook. So we have class appropriate attire, casual attire, formal attire, attire and church attire. We have those four different types of attire here at Bob Jones that are listed in our handbook. Make that five because we also have the athletic and recreational appropriate attire. Here at Bob Jones our class attire is business casual, not a t-shirt. So you can do like a solid color shirt and then some dress pants and that is a business casual outfit. That's like a simple just easy formula for you. You can also do a skirt and a blouse or dress pants 
or khakis. They want it max of two inches above the ankle or longer. So I'm gonna go over some examples of what some outfits look like for women going to class, and then I'll cover the guys. Dresses and tops with sleeves or without sleeves, which cover to the edge of the shoulder where normal sleeve begins. Dressy t-shirts or sweatshirts. Free writing or graphics is the really big point. Non-athletic wear, you can wear nicer shoes, but they have to have at least minimum of casual shoes. Then for guys, some example would be an open collar or polo shirt tucked in though. Dress pants, khakis or chinos, and then sweaters, uh, quarter zips, crew neck sweatshirts without writing and graphics is the big thing. And then a jacket with a zipper or buttons is also good. And then closed toe casual shoes or athletic shoes. These are the things that are not considered business casual, aka you cannot wear them to class. Denim skirts or denim dresses. You can't wear jeans of any color. Sweatpants, exercise pants, or bib overalls. All that you cannot wear to class. Leggings or pants of any other material or style that is desired to cling. So ladies, we do know what these fabrics are, so don't try to be, you know, sneaky with the jeggings. We can't wear jeans or leggings, so jeggings are not going to make the cut either. Then, obviously, it, it's sad that it has to be listed, but you can't wear shower shoes to class. Um, you can't wear hats unless it's worn for religious reasons. Um, t-shirts, tops, or crew neck sweatshirts with writing or graphics. Small logos are acceptable. Society t-shirts, you cannot wear those to class. The exception is when societies meet, which is usually on Fridays. You can wear your society stuff, but you still have to follow the guidelines about like dress pants and that. You can't wear jeans unless specified. And then you can't wear camo or camouflage at all. It's not considered businessy enough to be the business casual. And then pants with visible stitching or embellishments are not able to be worn either. Like obviously some stitching is just stitching of the piece. But if it is like a noticeably different color, then that cannot be worn class or embellishments. Most of that type of stuff is on jeans anyways, and you can't wear those. So that will probably solve most of that issue. Then it also has some things listed for guys, which is basically the same stuff. Guys, you can also not wear hats to class, and you can't wear hooded sweatshirts. I've heard it mentioned about an undershirt for guys, but I'm not finding it in here. But check the handbook yourself for that rule because that might be in there. But this is just like a basic rundown. And as I said, there's more on the dress code and more of those specifics, especially with the women's church section with the modesty guidelines and then also for all the hair cutting and shaving stuff. That's all gonna be in your handbook for you as well as all the other class information that you wanna know about. That's all in the handbook. So I encourage you to check out the handbook down below for more. Hopefully this video was a helpful one. Make sure you like it if you liked it or if it was helpful and subscribe for more helpful Bob Jones University videos and fun college vlogs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you are an incoming Bob Jones student, then I have this video here for all my Bob Jones freshman tips and resources for you guys as freshmen with the welcome week and everything. So check that video out and then if not, you'd probably enjoy my latest video.